Good morning, Maximizers, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Crystal, and this is our CVS haul from January 27th. I'm uber excited because we just hit 6,000 subscribers, so my heart is so full. I'm going to announce the giveaway winners at the end of this video um, who entered in from last week. So I'm so excited. Today's going to be a great day. And also, um, before I even start talking a lot, I want to let you guys all know that there is a printable breakdown in the description box link down below now as i'm doing this video some of the deals that i'm doing may not be on the printable breakdown but by the time i post the video and you guys see this um, i will add any additional deals to there um, okay so first let me show you what the printable breakdown looks like i have it here this is the printable breakdown it's in the description box it's very detailed anything that's highlighted in pink means it's a beginner deal so if you're starting couponing today then it means that you can go ahead and do any of the deals in pink there's going to be some more that i'm going to add as well and I put notes for myself at the bottom of additional deals that I want to check out while I'm here. And then all links to rebate apps are going to be here. So if there's any rebate apps I talk about, you can always click the links uh, electronically and go there. And then also I have my transaction breakdown that I'll show you guys at the end how I use that. But you can print this out and then write in your deals so you can be very organized at the register. I also have a whole video on breaking up transactions. I'll link it here. Um, and then I also have a whole video going over these deals. I'll link it as well. Um, all right, so before we dive in, the PNG deal that I was going to do with the spend 30, get 10 with the Tide and everything, I'm actually going to turn it into a food deal because everybody always asks me about food deals, food deals, food deals. Now, it's not going to be the lowest out of pocket, but we're going to get a bunch of food items that'll be good if you're having like a Super Bowl party or if you have kids and you want easy uh, food items, okay? So let's go ahead and dive in. I'm going to do that deal last because I don't want to carry around frozen food in my cart all day, all right? So let's go ahead and dive into the deal. First things first, print your CRTs from the red box. So we're waiting, 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 waiting. And then we'll print out and then we will sort them. Here we go. Until you get this screen, okay? So now I'm gonna go sort. Like I told you guys before, I separate into three piles. This is my no pile, I'm not using these today, so I'm gonna put them away. This is my maybe pile, I might use these today. And this is my yes, we need these to do our deals pile, okay? And then I have my accordion with all of my CRTs and extra bucks from last week. So I'm gonna pull that out, put the ones I need in my yes pile, and then some in my maybe pile. Um, and then we are gonna shop. Okay, deal number one is on Wet and Wild. It's on a spend 10, get a $5 extra buck. And it is a limit of three. So you could do this deal three times. Our $1 coupons that we have expired today. So today is the day to do it. Let me show you what I plan to grab. Get this mascara, it's $2.99. I'm gonna get this um, eyeliner, it is uh, $1.79. And I'm gonna grab this mascara, it's a $5.99. I'm interested in it because uh, it has a different applicator, okay? That's gonna bring the total to $10.77. Here's our coupons. We have that $3 instant coupon that printed last week. And then I have three $1 off one coupons that expire today. Sorry, they're upside down. We have one from the insert and then we have two printables. They both expire today. So after using both or all three of these coupons, four of them, it's going to bring the total down to $4.77. I updated my breakdown. That's how much I'll pay out of pocket, but we're going to get back a $5 extra buck, making it free plus a 23 cents money maker. Okay, this is not on the breakdown, but CoverGirl is a very good way to build up some extra bucks. They're going to be super cheap. So I'm going to do the buy two, get a $5 extra buck. And I'm going to do it on the good old eyebrow pencils because they are $4.99 each. But I'm also going to combine that with the exhibitionist deal, which is when you buy one, you get a $3 extra buck. And it's also a limit of one. So this is what I'm going to get. One exhibitionist and two of the CoverGirl eyebrow pencils. It's gonna bring my total over here to $18.97. The coupons we're gonna use are that printable coupon, and I did a printable video, so I'll link it here. So if you guys are interested in printing coupons, check out that video. So we're gonna use this $3 off coupon, and then I have two of the $2 off one eye coupons that came out, I think, two weeks ago in the inserts. And then I'm gonna use the two off 12 cosmetics CRT. So it's gonna bring our store out of pocket to $9.97, okay? But we're gonna get back eight dollars in extra bucks five for the eyebrow pencils and three for the exhibitionist so it's gonna make the final cost just 65 cents each which is phenomenal for this i know we usually get these free sometimes but getting this for 65 cents is amazing so that's gonna be a great deal and this also is gonna count towards cvs beauty you only got to spend 
$30 to get to beauty. We're spending $18 plus the wet and wild. So we're definitely going to hit CVS beauty. All right. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is going to be the you buy Kotex. They are buy one, get one 50% off. And then when you buy two, you're going to get a $2 extra buck. And it is a limit of one per household, meaning you're only going to get one extra buck back. Let me show you what I'm going to get. I am going to get based on my breakdown. I'm going to get four actually. I'm going to get four of the liners and I'll show you the ones that I prefer. I like the Barely There one, so I'm gonna grab two of them. And then they don't have any more Barely There, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab two of the regular ones. Um, so that's gonna bring my total to $14.97. I'm gonna use two a $3 off two manufacturer coupons that came out in the 120 Smart Source. And then I'm going to use the two off eight CRT that I got last week for, um, tampons pads liners it includes tampax always kotex or cvs brand so that is going to bring my total out of pocket to six dollars and 97 cents i'm gonna get back a two dollar extra buck making the final cost just one dollar and 24 cents each which is great coming down from 4.99 it's a product that i use and i also uh, definitely give away to my family whole gate deal it's spend 10 get five and it is a limit of two i found these colgate totals that are 3.59 each so i went ahead and i grabbed three of them bringing my total to ten dollars and 77 cents let me show you the coupon last week this really high value five dollar off any three colgate um total coupons popped up so i had a chance to print two of them so it is a limit of two but um my store only has three uh toothpaste so i'm gonna go to another store anyway to check on the wet and wild so total to 1077, use this $5 off coupon. We're gonna pay 577 at the register, get back a $5 extra buck, making the final cost just 77 cents for three of these. And I don't even know what that is each, like 30 cents each, less than 30 cents each, which is amazing for Colgate Total Toothpaste. So I'm definitely gonna go to another store and do this deal again, all right? The next deal is not on a printable breakdown either because I just realized that I am very low on body wash because I sold a bunch of it. The soft soap is on a sale two for seven and it is a limit of four and you'll get back a three dollar extra buck when you buy two. So I'm going to grab four of them because I have a CRT. So grabbing four of them is going to bring the total up to $14 and let me show you my coupons. All right, so we're going to grab four of them. Total is going to be $14. I have these 75 cents off one coupons that came out, I believe in the 120 smart source. They are a limit of you can use four in the same um, shopping trip. So I'm going to use a four of those, which is going to take $3 off. Then I have a two off eight body wash, which is going to take another $2 off. So we'll pay $9 at the register, but we're going to get back $6 in extra bucks, making the final cost just $75 five cents each which is great for soft soap okay? okay next is a great beginner deal so if it's your first week couponing at cvs this is going to be great garnier fruit teas is on sale two for seven dollars and there was a one dollar instant coupon that printed at the red box and then also a four dollar off two coupon came out in today's retail me not so let me show you what we're going to okay use. so we have the instant coupon and then we have the four dollar off two that came out in today's retail me not all right so by using both of those coupons, it's going to bring our store out of pocket to just $2, making each product just $1 each. So again, if this is your first week or if you're just restarting at CVS, I would definitely suggest grabbing two of these products for $1 each. That's an awesome stock up price for shampoo and conditioner. I'm going to grab two conditioners because me and Kinsley are forever doing conditioner treatments and I can never have too much conditioner okay so that is what we're going to do for okay. that another great beginner deal to do is going to be on the Dove shampoo and conditioner Dove is a very great hair care but it's super duper expensive they are on sale this week two for eight and when you buy two there's going to be a three dollar instant coupon that printed and then there's also a three dollar coupon that came out in today's retail me not january 27th let me show you the coupons so here's that instant coupon it's three dollars off any two dove shampoo and conditioner and it does exclude the derma care so you cannot use it on that and then here is the three dollar off two manufacturer coupon that came out in the retail me not so if we use both these coupons it's going to take off six dollars it's going to bring our total down to just two dollars or one dollar each that's great for Garnier. It's amazing for Dove. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab two products. I grabbed the um, 
intensive repair oh no the daily moisture shampoo and conditioner and i'll show you guys it at the end but to get dove for one dollar is amazing okay, okay maximizers let's be real for a second everybody always wants food deals right so this um spend 30 get 10 with a bunch of stuff that's included i'll show you guys in a second i could easily do pantene i could e easily do herbal essences we have tons of coupons for that stuff get a really low out of pocket but i already have five hair care items in my cart and i have hair care items at home and all my subscribers and people on Instagram always ask me for food deals. So this deal is gonna have a little bit of a higher out of pocket, but if you have extra bucks to roll, I suggest doing all your other deals first, gather your extra bucks and then use your extra bucks to pay for the food transactions. I'll, I'll reiterate that at the end to do all your other transactions first, get your extra bucks back and then do the food one. So you can roll as many extra bucks as you can into the food deals. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna show you some things that I'm gonna grab and suggest some things to you that may be good. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna get for food deals. Again, the out of pocket's probably gonna be like $20 but you're gonna get some good items, okay? So let's go ahead and dive into this food. Okay, deal. first, this is not included in the spend 30, get 10, but Kinsley always asks me for mac and cheese, okay? At Walmart, the mac and cheese is 98 cents, so it's two cents, I'll be paying six cents more than Walmart, but I'm gonna pay with an extra buck. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab three of these, I like thick and creamy, so I'm going to grab the thick and creamy ones for her because they'll be a little cheesier. Um, but look, they are three for three dollars. So if you have an extra buck to use, use it and get you some mac and cheese. So that's the first food deal I'm going to do. OK, I'm going to grab three of these and put them in my cart. Get my teeny energy because it is insane. If you want to know about teeny, I'll leave my video down below. But like it's a long day already. I've already been in CVS for over an hour. OK, so let's keep on going. But I'm happy. Team Energy is the one keeping me on top. And again, we hit 6,000 subscribers, so I'm super happy, okay? Okay, so here's the more options of what's included in the Spend 30, Get 10. I'm definitely going to grab two of the DiGiorno pizzas, for sure. That's going to get $10. And then, because I really like Stouffer's and they're great to have for lunch, I'm going to grab three for 10 Stouffer's products. That's going to take us to $20. And then I'm gonna grab some snacks and some Pringles, okay? So let me show you what we're gonna grab. So, the DiGiorno pizzas are expired, so I'm gonna have to get those at another CVS. But since CVS tracks our deals, I'm gonna get what I can get here. I'll show you guys, and then I'll get the extra buck back once I grab my two pizzas, okay? So let me show you what I plan to get here outside of the DiGiorno pizza. So I grabbed three of the Stouffer's lasagnas. They're three for $10. And then I grabbed the Cheez-Its. They are two for $4. And I actually have a Cheez-Its coupon right here for $1 off two. So that's going to make them $1.50 each. And then I got four cans of Pringles for Kinsley. Say hi. Her lips are blue. She's been eating a push-up pop. They are four for six. And I have this $1 off coupon. So it's going to make them four for five, $1.25 each. But remember, we're going to get back a $10 extra buck once we grab our DiGiorno pizzas. So that's $20 right here and 10 more to get our DiGiorno pizza. And then it's going to bring our cost down to just $20 for three, five, nine for 11 items, which is great for food. $20 for 11 items. That's like two less than $2 per item after we get back our extra buck. And then I didn't even include our $2 off. So it's going to be about less than, like I said, less than $2 per item. Okay, Maximizers, here is everything that we're going to get from CVS. It's a lot more than I actually expected. And I have it broken up into six different transactions, okay? And again, I'm going to be rolling a lot of extra bucks. If you don't have extra bucks to roll, then you will be paying a little more at the register than I am. But the point of getting those extra bucks is to roll them to keep our out-of-pocket low. So let's go through transaction by transaction so I can show you what we're going to get. First is going to be what I call the makeup deal and have my CVS transaction breakdown that I printed out for you guys. It's going to be linked in the description box. So if you want it, you can print it out, right? You can fit four transactions per page. And I have my other two over here and it's very detailed. So I sat here and I wrote out everything, my extra bucks, everything. Okay. So a transaction number one is called the makeup transaction. I'm going to do, whoops. I'm going to do the Wet n Wild and the Cover Girls all together. So the Wet n Wild is on a spend 10, get five. And we're going to grab the $2.99 mascara, the $5.99 mascara, and the um, eyeliner pencil. That brings that those three to $10.77. And then we have the 
Exhibitionist, which is on sale for $8.99. And when you buy one, you get a $3 extra buck. And then Cover Girl, everything else is buy two and get a $5 extra buck, okay? So we're gonna earn $13 in extra bucks from this transaction alone, but everything total up is gonna come to $29.74. Now we have a ton of coupons to use. So we have two of the $2 off one eyebrow pencil coupons. I don't know where the other one is. Um, for, for Cover Girl, we have two of these. Wet n Wild uh, $1 off one eye product coupons. I have uh, one from the insert and then I have the printable ones. They do expire on the 27th. So today is the last day to do the deal. Sorry, I didn't organize these. I should have. All right, so I have three of those that I'm using. Then I have the $3 off one exhibitionist that I printed from coupons.com this morning. And oh, look, here's my other cover girl. And then we have CRTs. We have the $3 instant coupon that printed last week for Wet n Wild. And we have the 2 off 12 cosmetics. Okay, let's go back to the breakdown. After using all of these coupons, our total is going to be brought down to just $14.74. I'm going to roll $10 in extra bucks to keep my out of pocket low. After rolling those extra bucks, we should pay $4.74 plus tax and we're gonna get back $13 in extra bucks. So that's gonna be a great transaction. And this counts towards CVS Beauty. Basically, I'm gonna hit Beauty because you have to spend 30 to get three and this is basically $30. So I'm gonna hit Beauty alone. So we're gonna get an, an additional $3 in extra bucks from this transaction. I don't know what that, so that's transaction number one. And transaction number two is going to be our hair care and I did add in something that I didn't show you guys because I received a four off 18 um, hair care CRT last week and it expires today so I want to use it so I had to add in something else to get my total to $18 so we're gonna do the fruit teas deal they are two for seven and then the dove is two for eight there's no extra bucks back but these deals are gonna be awesome okay so we're gonna grab three of the Garnier fruit teas they're two for seven for two the additional one is gonna be $3.99 and then the dove I got the daily moisture they are two for eight so for coupons, we have the four off 18 CRT I told you all about. Then we have a $1 off Garnier Fruit Teeth Instant Coupon, $1 off two. Then we have the $3 off two Dove Shampoo and Conditioner. Then we have the $1 off one Garnier, which is gonna be used for my extra Garnier. I have the $4 off two, which is gonna be used for my two for seven Garnier. $3 off, we have the $3 off two Dove. And then that's gonna bring our total down from $18.99 just to $2.99. I'm gonna roll $2 in extra bucks. So we're gonna pay 99 cents plus tax. We're not getting back any extra bucks, but to get five hair care items for $2.99 is amazing. I didn't even do the math. Um, I should do the math, but it's gonna be like 75 cents each basically, which is amazing for Dove and for Garnier less than a dollar definite stock up price and these also count towards the CVS Beauty Club so that's another $18 towards CVS Beauty so that's a great transaction all right okay next we are going to do the you buy Kotex they're on promo buy two get a two dollar extra buck and they're also buy one get one half off okay I'm gonna grab four because I have a CRT that you need to spend eight dollars on to use so buying four at $4.99 each um the first one's $4.99, the second one's $2.49, but buying four is gonna bring our total to $14.97. We are going to use uh, these coupons. I have $3 off two manufacturer coupons that came out in the 120 Retail Me Not, I believe. And then I have, I have two of them. And then I have a two off eight um, Kotex CRT I'm gonna use. So that's gonna bring our total down to $6.97. We are gonna roll $6 in extra bucks. I have two $3 extra bucks to roll. So we're just gonna pay 97 cents plus tax and get back a $2 extra buck. Um, that's amazing because these are products that I need and use every day, okay? The next deal is gonna be the Colgate deal. Colgate is on promo uh, spend 10, get a $5 extra buck, okay? So the Colgate total is $3.59, so I grabbed three of them, um, bringing my total to $10.77. Last week, I told you guys that amazing $5 off three coupon was available for print. 
So I'm going to use that. And then I forgot this printer for me today. $1 off any three Colgate toothpaste. So I'm going to use that as well. So that's going to bring the total down to just $4.77. You know me. I'm rolling $3 in extra bucks, okay? So I'm going to pay $1.77 plus tax, getting back a $5 extra buck. This is a freebie. Why is it free? Because our cost is $4.77 and we're getting back $5. So this is free plus a $0.30 cents money maker, okay? So I'm super excited for this Colgate deal. The Soft Soap Body Wash. They are on sale two for seven. And this deal has a limit of four. So when you buy two, you are going to get a $4 extra buck, okay? So I'm going to grab four of them to do the deal twice. It's gonna bring our total to $14. And then we have 75 cents off one coupon. So I'm gonna use four of them. That's gonna take off $3. And then I also have a two off eight body wash CRT. So that is gonna leave us with $9 after coupons. I'm gonna roll $8 in extra bucks, which I have right here, $8, three and five. We're gonna pay just $1 plus tax and then we're gonna get back um, $8 in extra bucks. So these are gonna come out to 25 cents each. Why? Because our total was nine and we're getting back eight. So the final cost is just a dollar for four. So they're gonna come out to 25 cents each definite stock up price, okay? And last we have our food deal. It's not completed because I need to get my DiGiorno pizzas from another store, but CVS tracks your deals. So once I buy those two pizzas, my extra buck will trigger, all right? So this is on a spend 30, get 10 minus the mac and cheese. Those are just extra. They're not included in the spend 30, get 10. So I'm going to grab the Pringles. They are four for $6. And we have a $1 off Pringles coupon. Going to grab the Cheez-Its. They're included in the promo and they're two for four. And then the Stouffer's lasagna, they're included. They're three for 10. So I showed you all the Pringles coupon and I showed you the Cheez-Its coupon. It's $1 off two. So I'm going to use that and i didn't show you guys the breakdown for the breakdown the total is going to be 23 dollars two dollars in coupons is going to bring our total to 21 dollars i am going to roll 15 dollars in extra bucks which i have here a seven and an eight dollar extra buck so it's going to leave me to pay just six dollars plus tax i will be paying for this out of my food budget so i won't be using my coupon and budget for that um so that'll be six dollars plus tax and then um I'll get a $10 extra buck back eventually. So back at home, I'll show you guys the math with getting the extra buck back, okay? So that's everything that we're gonna get. Let's go to the register and hope it goes well. I know what I wanted to tell you all. If you don't have any extra bucks to roll and you're doing one or two transactions, do all of your other transactions first and then take those extra bucks and roll into your food deals, okay? So I hope that helps and I'll talk a little bit more about that back at home, okay? Okay, so now I'm at CVS number two where I can't record. I came across the Suave deal. They're on sale two for six. Buy two, get a $2 extra buck. I'm going to use a $3 off two coupon. It came out in today's re uh, smart store. So I'm going to use that coupon. And here's me just showing you the coupon again. Make sure you got it. So they are going to come out to just $1 each after that coupon. Then I found more Wet n Wild treasures. So I'm going to grab two mascaras. No, that's concealer. Two concealers for $4.39 and one lipstick for $1.79. And I'm going to get back another $5 extra buck. Then I found the Colgate deal again. Spend 10, get a $5 extra buck. And I'm using that $5 printable coupon from last week. This is just me writing it down so you guys can see everything in store. And I'll show you the final transaction when we get back home. Okay, so we're still out. We just left CVS number two, the one I can't record in. So I recorded and I'll obviously you'll see I voiceovered everything, but I did Colgate again, got some more wet and wild, and I was able to snag the suave deal that I missed earlier. And then they did not have pizza. So we're going to the third time to charm, third CVS, to see if they have the pizza. Then I'm going back home. It is a rainy mess out here. So I'm just gonna go to that CVS and head home and hopefully it stops raining and I can head back out later to go to my other stores, okay? Okay, so I just had a snack because I was hungry because I've been out forever. Um, store number three does not have the journal pizzas, but I am going to grab the Progresso soups. I forgot all about that deal because I was so worried about those dang pizzas. I'm about to call a fourth store. If they have it, I will drive because I need to get the pizzas because A, I want them, and B, I need to complete the transaction to get the $10 extra buck. 
So at this point, I don't know what to do because, go put that back. I don't know what to do because I really need those pizzas for my deals. It makes it the best and it's what I really, really want to get. So keep your fingers crossed that I can find them. This video is going to be up late now because I have to go to another store, okay? And here's the Progresso deal. They are three for four dollars. There's no coupon. But by three, you'll pay four dollars and you'll get a one dollar extra buck back, making them just a dollar a can, which is great coming from two sixty nine. Okay, so I am gonna do that right now and I'm going to pay out of pocket using my grocery budget. Okay, so I called four stores and that store doesn't have it. So I just ended up grabbing three more stofers. I got two pepperoni stofers pieces and one more lasagna. So that'll complete the deal and now our ten dollar extra buck will print, okay? And I'm gonna pay with my food budget for this one as well. Okay, Maximizers, it is now time to announce the giveaway winners. I'm going to put each of their names all over the screen so you'll be able to see. Yeah, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put all of their names all over the screen so you guys can see the four lucky winners. If you are one of the lucky winners, congratulations. Please go ahead and email me at christhemaximizer at gmail.com. I will leave that on the screen as well so that you can um, get your prize and also we can set up your one-on-one -on -one session, okay? I am so grateful and thankful to each and every one of you. We hit 6,000 subscribers today. We had over 250 people enter in the giveaway, so I am so grateful for each and every one of you. I can't say thank you enough. Um, my heart is so full. Today was amazing. I did go to three stores, but who cares? I'm so happy to hear that so many of you are actually saving money and learning things that you never knew before. It makes me feel good as well. So you guys don't understand. You motivate me so much to keep going and to keep saving and to keep sharing deals with each and every one of you. So again, thank you guys so much for the love and support. I can't say thank you enough. Lucky winners, please email me at christhemaximizer at gmail.com so that I can mail out your gift card. So I need your name and your address and then also let me know when you want your one-on-one -on -one class and we'll coordinate schedules so that I can get that done for you, okay? So now let's go ahead and look at the final haul. I went to three different stores to get all of this stuff, okay? So let's check that out. Okay, Maximizers, three CVSs later, I am back home. I'm going to start this video off by telling you that I did nine transactions. I paid with my own money using my debit cards which i used my grocery budget for half of it and i used my um paypal money and i cashed out to check out 51 and a bottom i paid 39 dollars and 30 cents before tax for all of this stuff 39 dollars and 30 cents i don't even know how many items we have i didn't even check um, but I'm gonna go through each transaction with you. I know this video is super long. Thank you guys so much for bearing with me I went to three stores and Congrats to everyone who won the giveaway um, I will be mailing off your gift card So make sure as I said previously to email me my emails in the description box um, So that I can mail your cards out and we can schedule our one-on-one -on -one session now Let's go into each one of these things transaction by transaction because it's a lot. Okay, so for the first food transaction, I'm going to do that first so everything doesn't melt and I can get it in the freezer. We got the Cheez-Its. They were two for four. The Kraft Macaroni and Cheese, they were three for three. Again, these are not included in the Spend 30, Get 10. I just needed them, so I got them. I did the Stouffer's. They were three for ten. And I did the Pringles. They were four for six, okay? I had a $1 off two Cheez-Its coupon, and I had a $1 off four Pringles coupon. So... Using those coupons and everything, our cost came down to $21. I rolled $15 in extra bucks, so we ended up paying just $6. So you can see all my coupons came off. I rolled $15 in extra bucks, two $1 coupons. We paid $6, which is great, okay? But we still need to spend $10 more to get the $10 extra buck. I looked high and low. I went to three stores for the DiGiorno's. I was unable to grab them. So what I did was another transaction of Stouffer's at CVS number three. So I grabbed two of the French bread pizzas and I grabbed one more of the lasagna. That was $10 exactly. And again, I did pay for all the food from my grocery budget. So as you can see, here it is. I didn't use any coupons or extra bucks. I paid $10 for my grocery and then we got back a $10 extra buck. So all together, we paid... $28 for 
all, I'm sorry, for including the mac and cheese, we paid $31 for all of this stuff. And we got back a $10 extra buck. So it makes the final cost just $21 for 15 items, which is about $1.40 each if you add everything up, which is good for these because these are like $4 and some change. Not so great for this and for the Kraft Mac and Cheese, but overall, to get 15 food items for just $21 is a great price, okay? So that was the big food transaction. And then I also, at CVS number three, did the soup, the Progresso. They were on sale a three for $4, and when you buy one, you get a $1 extra buck. So let me grab my receipt to show you guys that one. Here it is. I didn't use any coupons or anything. It just rang up three for four dollars. We paid four dollars total, and then we got back a one dollar extra buck. So that's all the food. I spent thirty-five dollars and got eighteen food items today. So I'm not mad at all. Needed Pringles. We were completely out. Definitely can always use the Stouffer's for lunch. Kinsley wanted mac and cheese. Let me tell y'all. If you don't know about the white cheddar cheese, it's whoo. And then soup, Kinsley was sick uh, like a week ago and we ate all the soup, so this is great to stock up in our stockpile, okay? So let me put that away and then we'll go through the next transaction. All right, food's put away. Let's talk about the makeup deal. We did the CoverGirl, buy two, get a $5 extra buck. And while spend 10, get a $5 extra buck. Then the CoverGirl exhibitionist was buy one and get a $3 extra buck. For whatever reason, this coupon didn't go through, so she had to like void it and then re-ring it up. And then it went through. It took a little bit, but it worked. But this coupon did beep. Um, but you guys know, per my breakdown, the total came out to $4.74 plus tax. And then I got back $13 in extra bucks. I only got back $8 in extra bucks. Because for whatever reason, it's saying that I needed to spend $2.22 more. And usually I check my receipts in store, and I didn't this time, so forgive me. My Wet n Wild extra bucks did not print. And I saw three extra bucks print. But if you see, I got $3 for CoverGirl. I got $5 for my Buy 2 CoverGirl. And then I had this $1 Treat Yourself. And I thought this was my other $5 one. So from this receipt, it's telling me I need to spend $2.22 more. Well, I had did another transaction of Wet n Wild. And now it says I need to spend a dollar more. So... I was not going back to CVS, but I'm going to go back and I'm going to get one more Wet n Wild product to get my $5 extra buck because I got gypped. Um, but whatever, I'm going to go back. It's not a big deal. So anyways, I should be getting $13 in extra bucks back and I somehow ended up with only 9 But it's okay. It's not a big deal, but I am going to go back and get it because the coupons expire today. So anyways, that was an overall great transaction, and I'm going to hit CVS Beauty from this alone because this total was about $30, okay? So that was my makeup transaction. So note to self, always check your receipts in the store because something could always happen. And I also think that this not ringing up messed it up, so I should have split them up like I usually would. But because I had so many transactions, I didn't. So just check your receipts before you leave the store. And, like I said, CVS tra tracks your, your spending. So, it told me right there that I didn't get it, but I didn't pay attention to it. Okay? So, I am going to go back to Wet n Wild. Extra buck. I'm probably I'm going to have to buy, like, a $1 lipstick because I'm only, like, a dollar and 50 cents away from it. Okay? okay? Next is the hair care deal. And, you know, the Dove was two for eight. Garnier Fructis was two for seven. And then I got the extra Fructis so that my total would get over $18. Let me show you my receipt. All the coupons came off. Everything rung up appropriately like it was should. My total came down to what I expected, 99 cents plus tax. And there was no extra bucks back, which is totally fine. So literally, I got all five of these for just $2.99, which is amazing. So if you get that Dove Instant Coupon, I highly suggest doing it. And if you get the Garnier Fructis Instant Coupon, I highly suggest doing them. Even if you don't have the, the um, 4 off 18, it's still a great deal because these still come out to $1 each, all right? Then we did the You Buy Kotex. They were buy one, get one, half off. And when you buy two, you get a $2 extra buck. So I got four because I had that 2 off 8 CRT. Everything rang up appropriately. My CRT came off. Everything went perfect. So here's my receipt. You see all my coupons came off. My total was $0.96. Cents. And like I told you guys, I think it was last week, 
we no longer get taxed on feminine care items so that is awesome so i literally got all of these for 96 cents after rolling a six dollars and extra bucks okay great deal next we did the colgate deal they were on promo spend 10 get a five dollar extra buck these were three dollars and 59 cents each and this was a great deal guys so I did, I used the $5 manufacturer coupon that we printed from last week. And then I also had a $1 off three Colgate. I used that. And I rolled a $3 extra buck. So here's my receipt. You can see they ring up for $3.59. Here's my coupons I used, a $5 manufacturer, $1 um, CVS CRT. And then I rolled a $3 extra buck. Paying $1.77. And getting back a $5 extra buck. These are free because it was $4.77 at the register. And we got back a $5 extra buck. So it's like a $0.23 cents money maker. Super excited for those. Always need to place in the stock so pile. Okay. Next, it was a limit of four. I did it twice. Soft soap is on sale two for $7. It's when you buy two, you get a $6 extra buck. So I messed that up royally. Okay, so I messed up that breakdown. I don't know why I thought it was $4 extra buck. It's a $6 extra buck. So, um, the cost at the register came out to $9. And then you get back a $6 extra buck. So, it makes it just a $3 for four of them. So, disregard what I said in store. That was totally wrong. Forgive me. Um, so, it makes them about $0.75 cents each. Yeah, $0.75 cents each, which is still a phenomenal price. Um, I had a brain lapse. So, let me show you my receipt because everything went through fine here. Nothing beats. I used four 75 cents off coupons. I used a two off eight body wash CRT and I rolled a $5 extra buck and a $3 beauty buck. So I ended up paying just $1 and then I did get a $6 extra buck, but I rolled that into one of my other transactions. Okay, so I saved 95%, which is awesome. So, yes, that was soft soap. I'm low on body wash, so I definitely need that in the stockpile. Okay, then I went to CVS number two, the one that I cannot film at. So, I went ahead and I voiceovered. You guys saw that I just took a screenshot video in the store, and then I'm going to talk. I talked about what I got. But I did the Colgate deal again. You know, spend 10, get 5, because it was a limited 2, and I used a $5 coupon again. So, I paid $5 out of pocket and got $5 back. Well, I didn't pay out of pocket. I rolled $6 in extra bucks. Anyways, I paid $5, got $5 back, so they are free. And then um, the Wet n Wild deal I did again. I didn't realize they had concealers, so I grabbed two concealers. They're $4.39 each, and then I grabbed this lipstick that I thought was $1.49, but it was actually $1.79. Suave hair care deal. They were on sale two for $6, and when you buy two, you get a $2 extra buck, and there was a $3 off coupon. I don't know how I missed that deal either. So, I got all of these things together. It brought my total to about $27. And then I used um, the $5 coupon, a $3 coupon. I used two $1 coupons and a $0.50 cent off coupon. So, at the end, I ended up paying, after I rolled a, I rolled a $6 extra buck, I ended up paying $10.84 plus tax. And then I got back $12 in extra bucks. 5, 10, 11, 12. So it really wasn't bad. It was basically um, free after rolling that $6 extra buck. So overall, great transaction. These two are going to count towards CVS Beauty. So I will imagine I'll hit CVS Beauty at least twice. So I'll get at least $6 in extra bucks back. Um, and that was all of my transactions. That was everything I did. Again, I paid $39.30 of my own money out of pocket, and I received back a total of $51 in extra bucks. I rolled $6 of it, so right now in my possession, I have $46 in extra bucks, which is great to go into next week, and I'm going to get CVS Beauty Bucks. So overall, great day at CVS. I am going to go back and get my $5 extra buck for Wet n Wild, so I'm going to go grab another lipstick. I'll do that shortly. And I will um, let you guys know on Instagram that I did that. And that is pretty much it. Again, that's it, Maximizers. Thank you all so much for the love and support. I really appreciate it. If you're not following me on Instagram, do it. My Instagram handle is the Crystal Sharp. Um, and like I said, 
thank you guys so much for the love and support we hit 6,000 subscribers today i'm super excited um but that is pretty much it congrats again to all of the winners of the giveaway and thank you to everyone who entered the next giveaway will be at 10,000 subscribers so let's get to 10,000 make sure you're sharing us with your friends and then we'll do another giveaway okay as always please like share and subscribe thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video